there beautiful people what is up uh, welcome to day number 14 of my 100 days of vlogs until 2018 and um, as some of you guys know it's Halloween season and there's something I'd really really want to talk about I'd really like to talk about this because um, I feel that this is something that really 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 needs to be talked about especially during our current administration which targets uh, people of color, immigrants, women, GLBTQ people, and um, and our dreamers. And um, I feel that this is very important. Now, over the years, uh, there's always been a campaign that says, I'm a culture, not a costume. Well, I saw something extremely disturbing in the Spirit Halloween store that actually kind of pissed me off. And I know a lot of you are saying, you're white, you shouldn't be offended. Well, guess what? I am white and I have the right to be offended. Do you know why? Because I have a lot of people of color in my own family. And this is really not okay. Now, on to what I saw in the spirit store yesterday, about less than a block away from my house. I saw a border patrol costume along with number 45's uh, face mask and I'm thinking to myself this is the most fucked up shit ever now I know a lot of you are going to agree with me and there's going to be some of you who are going to disagree with me and call me a snowflake and whatever and blah 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 but um this is my channel and I'm going to say what I need to say um it's one thing to put these costumes out. It is another to actually make this a parody, especially when we have immigrants in this country who are under the DACA Act, who would like to be here legally, who came here as children, who didn't have a choice but to come here. Um, and also we have legal immigrants here who have been harassed by ICE this is not a funny costume at all, guys. I'm just saying that it's not funny at all because I think we need to have a dialogue about this. I think we need to have a discussion about this. We need to talk about why these costumes are offensive, along with Native American costumes, along with rapper costumes, along with pimp costumes, uh, Native American costumes, or did I say Native American? Yeah, I did say Native American. Uh, Eskimo costumes. Um, because, you know, cultures are not a costume and it's not okay. So when I saw this border patrol costume, I'm thinking to myself that I should be really pissed. And you know what? I am because in my family, I, my family is extremely diverse. As I mentioned before, I have two beautiful nephews, grand nephews that were born like a couple months ago. They're half Mexican. And they're going to have to grow up in a world where where they're going to have to put up with that. And I'm not okay with this. So I know that a lot of you are going to be calling me a social justice warrior. And you know what? Right now, I am proud to wear that badge. Because I think that this is personally wrong. And, th and these costumes are actually pretty problematic. And here's why. Um... Anybody who is new to America or who is very naive about what border patrols look like, um, they could easily be taken advantage of. Now, you've probably read some stories on the news where there were quite a few women who were sexually assaulted by uh, predators who dressed up as police officers who were able to buy security uniforms and pass off their cars as unmarked police cars at traffic stops. A lot of that has been happening. Um, who's to say that this won't happen either? I'm not saying that there's going to be sexual assault. There might be. But who's to say that a bunch of frat boys will not buy these costumes with some ill intent? Or maybe it won't be frat boys. Maybe it will be somebody who, with ill intent who will buy these costumes, who will fuck with Muslims, who will fuck with people of color, and who will fuck with immigrants. 
during this time. And it won't just be on Halloween either. It will be the, around other times of the year. And I think personally, this is something that we need to have a dialogue on. So that is just my two cents of the subject. So tell me what you think. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Spread the love, hit the share button, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, um, like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when I will be uploading a brand new video, which will be every day for the next 100 days, uh, please ring my bell because you know what? I really like it when you ring my bell. Also, uh, you can keep up with me at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And you can do so all at one place at fatmiddleagedgingerpdx.weebly.com. Well, beautiful people, I am signing off, and um, until tomorrow, be sure to stay healthy, stay beautiful, and most of all, please, especially right now, be good to each other. Have a great day.